addition, I have this old tackle box that's a huge mess. So what this week's video is going to be about is trying to get this tackle box organized so I can find what I want to use when I want to fish and not have to dump the whole thing out in the bottom of the boat. As you can see I've got my tackle here all laid out and organized. I already cleaned up my tackle box and threw away all the empty rubber worm packages and stuff. I had a ton of them in there. And that was definitely adding to the junk. Now, I don't only really keep baits in my tackle box, I also keep parts for the boat like spark plugs and measuring tapes to measure the fish. And I keep wrenches and stuff that I can use to fix the motor or do something to the boat if I need to. So this is a really old tackle box. It's been through a lot. I need to get a new one, but I'm not going to right now. It's still working fine, I guess. So I only got one of these and I'm probably going to need a few more. I'm going to need a specialty spinnerbait one because I found out I got a ton of spinnerbaits in here. I didn't even know what all I had in here. So every time I would go fishing, I'd wind up buying duplicates of stuff I already got. And I wound up with probably 10 packages of the same hooks here that are full. I only took one out of them every time I went fishing. So I need to go to the store and get some more of these. And I need to get a specialty box like that for my spinnerbaits. One trick that I saw on Facebook or Instagram or something like that was to take a paper clip and use it, put it through the eye of your hooks like this. And then you can just store all your hooks in one place like that. Now these are th these are three yacht worm hooks here. I've got as you can see I've got a ton of them. I had three or four packages and they I got some laser sharp, some gamakatsus. They're all the same to me. A three yacht worm hook's a three yacht worm hook. I ain't a professional. But I don't know how well this works, so I'm going to try it out. But if I don't like it, I can always just change it in the future, you know. So I'm going to get all these hooks put on paper clips here. I got some 4 aught, 3 aught. I got some bluegill, some crappie hooks. I'm going to get this done, and I'll be right back. So now looking at that, my faith in this method is not very high. So what I'm going to do with the hooks that have a little baggy, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the packaging off of them, just the cardboard, and I'm just going to fold them down. Put them all in the same baggie, fold them down. I'm just going to put a paper clip on them. That should hold them just fine. So what I'm going to put in this first container here is going to be the baits that I usually use for musky as opposed to bass. Now all these baits catch bass the same as they do musky, but usually when I'm throwing them, they're more I'm more musky oriented. Except for the little hellbenders there, I throw these hellbenders a lot for bass. I don't know. I don't catch them that often, but I do throw them on. So in order to organize these rubber baits here, I've got some rubber worms that I use a lot, some lizards, some senkos, just some other baits that I really don't touch that much. So on this tackle box, there's this top part right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay these worms in here like this. I'm going to take my Senkos and put them over here. Those are my top two used baits. Right behind that is my lizards. So I'm going to put them right in the middle. Now for this other stuff, I hardly ever find myself Which using use for frogs. So I'm going to put that back there. I probably used these shad things once. So I'm also going to shove that back in there. 
I've never used chrome pads, but I might want to one day, so we're going to go back in there. Now these, I've heard that these right here, well, I know they are, they're good for catching sauger and stuff, but generally I don't go out sauger fishing because I, I don't really have time in the winter. But they're also good for crappie, so I like the crappie fish, so I'm going to put them right there in the middle with the rest of them. And that right there is how I'm going to organize my rubber baits. So I got to looking at this tackle box here, and these two little top parts right here would be perfect to put the sinkers and the hooks. So on this side, I'm just going to put all my hooks here on my little paper clips. So we'll really see how they work out right here. I'm sure they'll get tangled. And now in this pack, I had a bunch of them packs of the sinkers. What I did was I had a bunch of little ones that wouldn't fit on the paper clips, so I just repurposed the package for little tiny hooks. Now I've got some of these, some swivel sinkers that are 3 8 and I've got some slip sinkers that are 1 8 ounce. Both of those are going to go over here. So that's going to be the sinker side and this is going to be the hook side. I'm going to finish putting these hooks up here. I don't know about that, it looks a little messy. So now that it's all in there, let's see if I can grab a uh, four rock worm hook without having to fight around too much stuff and getting tangled up. Wow, that worked a lot better than I thought it would. Let's try to grab the three of us. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Okay, so scrap that idea. Although that does seem to work pretty well for the sinkers. So as you can see, that's about all I can do here without getting some more boxes. So I'm gonna have to go to the store and get some get some more of them organizing boxes to put these uh, crankbaits and spinners and stuff in. Uh, I also got the hooks over there on the table that I ain't done nothing with yet. So I'm probably gonna wind up putting them in one of those boxes too. We'll just see how it works out and what I find at the store. I'll see y'all when I get back. Well, I'm back from the store. At the particular store that I went to, they didn't have the deep spinner bait, so I'm going to have to figure something else out for that. But the first case that I bought, this one right here, it's got a waterproof O-ring. That's table shaking, sorry. The reason I bought this was to put these spark plugs in, because I don't want them getting wet. Probably wouldn't hurt them that bad, but I don't want them to get wet, so I'm going to put them in here. That's the only reason I bought this case. And if anybody out there has a two-stroke, you know, that's one of the number one things that goes out on, goes out on them is the uh, spark plug. So it's very important to have one of them on the water. Well, it looks like I bought just the right amount of boxes because I got everything to fit without any open spaces. Now I'm going to go put them over my tackle box and I'll show you where I put them in there.
This box has got three pockets. It's got one here, one here, and one here. I'm going to put this flat one down in here with the rest of the flat ones along with this one. It'll fit right in there. I'm going to put this emergency kit over here on this side. And I, I bought some bobbers. I'm going to put them over here. And last but not least, 100 SPF sunscreen stays in the tag box. I just decided to throw my spinner baits up here because I don't have a good place for them right now. And I figured that was a good place as any. I don't use them that often anyway. So, yep. And one last thing, tape measure. It was right here. Well, there's the finished tackle box. Well, I hope you enjoyed going through my tackle box with me and getting it organized. I'm sure it'll make fishing trips more pleasant rather than stressing out about trying to find the baits that you're looking for. Now all that's left to do is sit in the easy chair, watch some TV, and plan the next fishing trip. Thanks for watching.